Hi, this is the polishing wheel. Uh, we're going to use this to uh, grind down our thin sections and also to make a nice polished finish. So this is pretty straightforward. It has a cover, which I want you to remove when you're using it. There is a water supply here. This is a nifty thing, so the wheel is going to turn around and you're going to hold your sample to polish it. There's different grain size or grits of uh, polishing paper here. And this system is really neat because it has these magnetic plates that you can switch out. So you can see here maybe this is a different color from this polishing material here. And you can just remove them um, from the wheel and replace them with a different one as you progress in polishing. Because you want to start with the coarsest grit that you need and then work your way to the finest grit to get a good finish. So the parts here, again, there's the water supply here. You'll also see there's a button here to turn on and off the water supply. There's also a water um, supply from the wall. So we'll want to turn it on at the wall um, and also make sure that this button is on. This uh, disc here will rotate. so. You can change here the RPM or how fast it's rotating, and you don't want to go so fast that you're going to lose your sample. Or you don't be able to hold on to your sample, nor do you want to go so slowly that it's not doing as much. So we're going to just try that, kind of play that by ear. Um, there's a stop and a start button, so if you want this to start rotating, you just push the start. And to get the water to come out here, again, you want to have the water button on, the little green light will be on. And then you want to turn it on at the wall by pulling on the lever. And you don't need a tremendous amount, right? If you put so much in here, you may risk flooding. So again, just kind of play it by ear here. If your sample is scratching the surface, you may need to add some more water. Um, if there's too much water, you may start to fill up this basin, and that's not good either. So with this going, you can see um, I could put a sample right here. So if I had here, I'll, a thin section on one of these little, we have a little sample jig here. You can hold it, or you can hold a rock sample and just hold it down onto the surface. And again, like our other uh, polishing equipment, you don't want to push down on it. It's the sideways motion of the paper that is going to produce the polish, right? So push down, just hold it so that it's in contact with the paper as it rotates. Right? And I'm putting it in the area where the water is. You can adjust, this has a nice adjustable nozzle, so you can change the location of where the water is being placed. All right? And then again, when you're finished with this, uh, you want to make sure that you stop the rotation. You also will notice it automatically shuts the water off here, but you want to remember to close it off at the wall. Okay, and there is actually an on-off button, so when everyone is done using it, there is an on-off button in the back here next to the power cord that you can push to turn the whole thing off. And then you want to probably take this off. Um, so here's one of the little plates here. Just comes off like that, and you can set it here to dry. Right, and there's a lid here place on top to keep dust from other equipment from getting into the machine, right? So great, now you're ready to polish. If the polishing paper seems like it has been used too much and there's lots of scratches or indentations on it or just seems worn down in places, you can replace it easily on these little magnetic plates. So this is just an adhesive back like this. Um, material and we have replacements here so you want to match the grit so the grit size corresponds to the particle size on the paper so in this case actually the larger the grit number the smaller the grain size so we can go if you want to convert this to how many micrometers uh, the particles are we have there's like a comparison chart over here you can look it up on the internet but make sure you're using the US version of this because other countries have different um, scales, so, uh, but all you do here is you just peel this one off, and then, which I haven't do yet because that one looks okay, and then a new piece of paper here, 
there's a little tab you can pull and remove the adhesive from the back of the paper and then you know remove this paper and then just stick this one on make sure there's a clean surface and it's really quite easy to do